Windows 11 has been out for quite a while now, but you may be still wondering what are the main differences between Windows 11 and Windows 10, and if you should even upgrade to Windows 11. So I'm going to go over some of the main things here today. We're going to be taking a look at Windows 11 here in my virtual machine. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, of course, is the design. So Windows 11's design has been completely overhauled. It's completely different. Everything from the icons like you see up here with the recycling bin to the way the windows look when you open them to the uh, right-click menu, the taskbar, everything about it is just different but also familiar to Windows 10. So your file explorer still looks pretty similar. You notice that your icons are all different looking and the corners of the windows are more rounded, which looks very nice. If you right click on an item, you're gonna notice that your menu is gonna look different here. Uh, you're gonna have you know different options as you can see. And sometimes on a menu, you'll have more kind of quick options here. I do really like the ability to have quick options up here in the file explorer like delete or share and things like that. Now it doesn't just go like I said to the windows, it goes to things like your taskbar. Of course your taskbar is going to be located in the center on Windows 11. Some people like that, some people don't. The good news is there is an option in the taskbar settings you can move it back over here to the left hand side if you would like. But if we take a look at things also like our start menu, our start menu looks completely different than it did in Windows 10 as well. You can see that you no longer have your search or things like that. It's all separate icons as you can see. No more live tiles or anything like that. You do still have the ability to view all of your applications right here, so that is nice. And you can pin things. And then also as you use your computer, you'll see different recommendations pop up right there. This is also where you can find your power options as well as your account stuff right there as well. Also, we take a look down here in the bottom right, your taskbar. We now have quick options, so you can click on where your uh, internet sound and battery is located here, and it'll actually bring up a quick menu uh, for you to view. And this is where you can kind of do quick things like set your focus and see your battery, brightness, airplane mode, that kind of thing. So yeah, the design is definitely something that's been updated here in Windows 11, and is quite different than Windows 10, but also familiar at the same time, which is very nice. Next thing we can talk about is the ability to run Android applications on Windows 11. So you now have the ability to go to the App Store and you can download Android apps and run them natively here on your computer, which is pretty cool. So that's definitely something you can't do on Windows 10 and that kind of makes it easier to get certain applications uh, that you might use a lot on your phone that you can now use here on Windows 10. Also, there is a much more enhanced tablet support, so touchscreen works much better uh, and more, you know, like it should. It's not like a Windows 8 kind of thing where, you know, they tried to make that for tablet use and it didn't work out. They've actually really thought about how people would use things like surface devices and stylists and touch screens and all that so that's definitely a big improvement over windows 10 as well it's more tablet friendly if you desire another thing here in windows 11 is the enhanced desktop support so you have the ability of course to have virtual desktops you could do this in windows 10 as well but they've definitely made the process a lot easier here in Windows 11. So it's now an icon located down here in your taskbar and you can see I have desktop one and then I have the ability to add another desktop. So right there. So this kind of gives you the ability to have virtual displays. So not like having to connect actual physical displays, but it is kind of nice to do this so you can literally hop back and forth between your virtual desktops and have multiple windows open which is pretty cool and they've definitely made it much easier to access this and go to your different desktops 
So that is a very nice improvement here. And then of course you can just uh, delete a desktop and it'll bring your windows back over here for you. But yeah, making the multitasking uh, much easier there. And speaking of Windows, how about talking about the new Snap and Group features? So this is a new thing here. It gives you easier ways to kind of set up your different Snap layouts and things like that. So if I just uh, open a couple of File Explorer windows here, I can show you uh, what this kind of looks like. So if you have a couple of windows open and you want to organize them some way, used to, of course, you just take the window, you drag it to the right side, it would snap and then you drag it to the left and it would snap over there as well. Well now if you hover over the maximize slash minimize window little icon here in the middle, you can see you have several different layouts that you can choose from. So you can do the traditional side by side. You can do one on the left side, two on the right. You can do four equal ones or you can do a slightly larger one and one like that. So let's just pick uh, just this one for example. So if you click on that, It'll automatically put that window over there and then it'll let you choose your other window to put like that as well. And then those can be grouped together so you can uh, minimize them all together. And you can see down here at the bottom that we have the group right there that we can bring back up. So yeah, definitely a better way of having your windows organized here and then the final thing to talk about here is now we have Microsoft Teams integration into Windows 10 by default. So normally you would have to download Microsoft Teams separately, but now you can see down here at the bottom, by default in your taskbar, you have a little chat icon and Microsoft Teams is actually running right there. So uh, easier way to just, you know, access that and so those are just some of the major things here to do with Windows 11 that are different than Windows 10. Main thing is, of course, is there's just a lot of design changes, a lot of under the hood things, and then of course, making things easier like the virtual desktops, uh, your widgets, organizing windows, and et cetera, right? So really, should you upgrade to Windows 11 now? I mean, you still have a few years to wait, but I think it's totally fine to go ahead and upgrade to it. Obviously, they're improving it with software updates, security updates, but yeah, Windows 10 support lasts for a few more years, which is nice if you don't want to, you know, upgrade to this right away. But I think Windows 11 has been pretty surprising to use uh, from a Mac guy standpoint. I can definitely tell a lot of similarities now with Mac OS, like just the easy way to do your virtual desktops and they're trying to integrate more things like the focus assist of course Apple has something called focus uh, widgets team integration you know just different stuff like that you can kinda tell even putting the taskbar in the center I mean you can kinda tell that they're just kinda pulling things here and there that's just my opinion but uh, yeah that's Windows 11 main differences here between that and Windows 10, let me know, have you upgraded to Windows 11 yet in the comments down below and what do you think about it? But anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.